In this lecture, we explore Siddhartha Gautama's transformation into the Buddha and how his teachings birthed Buddhism, a journey of enlightenment and legacy. The transformation from prince to spiritual seeker marks Siddhartha Gautama's journey toward awakening. Startled by the inevitable truths of aging, illness, and death, he questioned the fleeting nature of life. This realization led him to renounce his royal comforts, choosing instead a path of exploration. In his pursuit, Siddhartha faced the ineffectiveness of living at extremes. Neither opulence nor austerity revealed the truth about ending suffering. It was through seeking balance that Siddhartha uncovered the middle way, a path steering clear of both excess and asceticism. This pivotal concept, visually represented, forms the bedrock of Buddhist teachings, proposing a balanced approach to life's adversities, fostering awareness and peace. This principle embodies Buddhist spiritual and philosophical practices, aiding followers in confronting life's hurdles with mindfulness and stability. Emerging from a life shrouded in luxury, Siddhartha Gautama's transition to an enlightened seeker stands as a profound narrative. Born into opulence at Lumbini, he was shielded from the prevalent realities of suffering. Yet, this sheltered existence soon unraveled. Encounters with the undeniable truths of aging, disease, and mortality compelled him to reevaluate the essence of contentment and existence. Driven by these revelations, Siddhartha ventured beyond his privileged roots and severe asceticism. His realization of the middle way, a path between such extremes, signified a pivotal shift. This balance underpins the Four Noble Truths, principles outlining suffering, its cause, cessation, and the Eightfold Path leading to its end. Siddhartha's insights, crystallizing into Buddhism's core teachings, offer a blueprint for navigating life's adversities with awareness, ethical action, and insight. The unfolding of Siddhartha's quest saw him confronting profound truths. Witnessing aging, sickness, death, and an ascetic sparked his aspiration to overcome the inherent cycle of life's distresses. This epiphany compelled him, under the veil of night, to forsake his princely life. Choosing the ascetic's challenging path, he sought purity and insights into human woes. This pivotal shift in his existence initiated his journey towards enlightenment, setting the groundwork for what would become Buddhism. In this narrative, we trace a prince's metamorphosis into a beacon of wisdom, navigating and challenging the depth of human understanding and anguish. Continuing from where our story left, Siddhartha's quest for wisdom pushed him towards rigorous austerity a journey that revealed the inadequacy of both utter discipline and sheer opulence in grasping life's true essence. On the verge of death due to his stringent practices, a crucial realization dawned upon him. The path to enlightenment was not rooted in extremities. This revelation led to the formulation of the middle way, championing a life of equilibrium, free from excesses of every sort. Following this path under the Bodhi tree, Siddhartha's awakening shed light on Buddhism's core, a deep comprehension of existence that moves beyond mere polarities, offering a richer, more nuanced understanding of being. As Siddhartha Gautama embraced the middle path, steering clear of life's extremes, this approach matured into a pivotal concept deeply embedded within Theravada and Mahayana Buddhism. This evolution highlights the adaptability of the Middle Way, showcasing its widespread applicability across various Buddhist schools. Just as Siddhartha journeyed between luxury and harsh asceticism to discover this balanced path, today it serves as a guiding principle not just in spiritual endeavors, but also in philosophical and day-to-day -day actions. Through parallels with Stoicism, where equanimity and attentiveness are esteemed, the Middle Way encourages a harmonized life amidst tumult. This congruence points to its essential role in fostering ethical conduct, reducing excessive consumption, and encouraging care for our environment. In today's reality, embracing the middle way can lead to actions such as reducing screen time and making eco-friendly lifestyle choices, showcasing its timeless relevance and impact in addressing modern dilemmas. With Siddhartha's embrace of the middle path leading him to the serene grounds of Bodh Gaya, his moment of supreme insight unfolded beneath the iconic Bodhi tree. This site transcends its geographic significance, embodying the epicenter of Buddha's profound realization. Here, Siddhartha encountered and overcame Mara's alluring challenges, 
a testament to his extraordinary mental resilience through meditation. This confrontation with Mara, embodying lust, repulsion, and deception, underscore the battles waged within the human consciousness. Triumphing over these powerful forces underscored the potency of focused contemplation, heralding a pivotal phase in his spiritual odyssey. This victory not only marked the genesis of Buddha's enlightened teachings, but also laid the cornerstone for Buddhism's rich philosophical framework. Emerging victorious from his challenging encounter with Mara beneath the Bodhi tree, Siddhartha Gautama ventured to the lush deer park to share the insights of his profound awakening. Here, in this hallowed place, he set forth the Dharma, lighting the beacon for what would grow into Buddhism. This decisive act sparked a spiritual upheaval, weaving the fabric of a new spiritual doctrine. Through the wisdom of the Four Noble Truths and the Eightfold Path, he charted a course for liberation from dukkha, or suffering, offering his followers a practical guide for transcending worldly afflictions. This seminal event at Deer Park, capturing the transformation from seeker to enlightened guide, heralds a legacy of wisdom that spans generations, continuing to illuminate the path to spiritual emancipation. Building on the profound legacy left at Deer Park, the Sangha emerges as a pivotal element in Buddhism's tapestry. Visualize a community enriched by Siddhartha Gautama's wisdom, where each person's path to enlightenment is interwoven with others, creating a collective strength. This unity, originating from Buddha's first discourse, highlights the Sangha's integral role. Overseen by the Vinaya Pitaka, this body upholds discipline, nurturing wisdom and compassion. In today's context, facing challenges such as climate change, the Sangha's adaptability is evident integrating timeless insights with contemporary issues. This fusion underscores its crucial function in not only advancing spiritual growth, but also in sculpting a conscious, ethical society. Building from the dispersed seeds of Buddha's first teachings, his principles of universal compassion unfurl, revealing a web of profound connections among all creatures, intent on lessening shared pain. Through examples like the mustard seed parable, Buddha wove understanding and kindness into his followers' hearts. His decision to converse in the common tongue broadened his insight's reach, crossing societal boundaries as the Sangha embraced a diverse congregation, dismissing age-old divisions of caste and gender. This progression within the Sangha showcases Buddhism's transformative essence, cutting through deep-rooted biases. The stories of Mahapajapati Gotami, Buddhism's first nun, and Sunita, an outcast enlightened, illustrate this shift vividly. From division to unity, this evolution reflects the potent, sustained influence of Buddha's compassion, crafting a new societal fabric defined by mutual respect and inclusivity. Following the impactful guidance left at Deer Park and the establishment of a compassionate Sangha, Siddhartha Gautama delivered profound teachings as his time on earth drew near its end, encapsulating the essence of Parinirvana. This ultimate liberation surpasses the nirvanic peace attained during life, marking a cessation of suffering and rebirth cycles, as demonstrated at Kushinagar. Through his perspectives, we learn the transient nature of existence and the concept of no-self, essential to Buddhist thought and the pursuit of enlightenment. These teachings, offered at the brink of his departure, encourage introspection on life's cyclical binds and the value of awareness in our journey. Accompanying visuals not only depict Siddhartha's peaceful exit, but also symbolize the enlightening voyage he initiated, showcasing Buddhism's path to transcend the wheel of life and death. Continuing from the transformative insights Siddhartha Gautama offered at the edge of his life, Buddhism began a remarkable odyssey. From the heart of the subcontinent, it expanded across continents, reshaping its wisdom to match cores of diverse cultures. Emperor Ashoka's embrace exemplified its assimilation, launching its principles into unforeseen territories. Melding with practices like Tibet's ancient Bon and seasoning the discipline of Japan's Zen, Buddhism showcases its dynamic adaptability. Presently, its emphasis on mindfulness brings tranquility to our bustling lives. The Plum Village tradition exemplifies this union of age-old enlightenment with the challenges of today, offering paths to peace and ecological mindfulness. In the image of Siddhartha, 
we connect these historic lessons to our contemporary search for purpose and tranquility in a vibrant yet chaotic world.